next you will take a look at the concept of the long run supply so long run supply means that the change in the firm's output with respect to the change in the demand so we have three cases of the long run supply the first case is the constant cost so constant cost means that okay you need to draw a side by side diagram the left hand side is the firm output and the right hand side is the market demand so say now you have a price level and at the long run the firm will produce at a minimum average cost because at the long run there are no out, no profit okay so the <clears throat> they will produce as here now if the demand curve increase and shift to the right the price level will increase and the firm will experience a short term profit and raise the output to Q2 okay given some output the firms more firms will come to the, to the market as a result, the supply the supply will shift to the right. So if this is constant cost, that means that newcomers will share the same cost functions. As a result, the price will eventually go back to the original price because the new firms, newcomer, are the same average cost. As a result, the price will be lower and the output will eventually go back to Q1. <coughs> So the long run supply curve is here. Okay, the long run supply curve is the response of the output when there's change in demand. So there are not only one type of long run supply curve, you have the increasing cost industries. Okay, so you need to draw three diagrams to show the case. So first, assume this is the original price and quantity okay so this is the original situation the firm produced at the minimum AC okay now if the demand increase to here then the firms will experience a profit so as the case similar to before and in this case some newcomer will, will be at, attracted but these newcomers are, le, are more inferior are inferior to the previous one that means they cannot produce at a cost similar to the previous one they need to provide at a higher cost as a result the average cost may be like this which is above the original price so MC is here here will be the new price okay so as a result new firms emerge supply increase but the price will be a little bit higher than before so the long run supply curve will be the shape like this increasing okay so this can this can be the model of the increasing cost industry see when they are newcomer they will push up push up the input price okay as a result the average cost of the industry increase and the long run supply curve is always looking and finally you have a dark decreasing cost industry so in this case Okay. So this is the original market situation. Demand and supply. And originally the firm is producing here the minimum of AC. Now suppose the demand increase price is higher and the firm can ex experience some profit and here newcomers emerge and the newcomers may be produced at a cost lower than the original suppliers 
so you can see that the price will go down that means the supply curve will shift right up to this point so the long run supply curve is connecting to equilibrium and downward sloping okay so this may be where the new curve might emerge this push down the average production cost say it introduced lots of new technology or extract attract more labor such that the average cost can be lowered okay so these three are the long-run supply curves next we will take a look of the comparative statics analysis so that means what is the number of firm changes when there's change in demand and what is what will be changing if there's change in the some input price okay first let's investigate the change in the number of firms if there's increase in demand okay so the number of firm is equal to the total output derived by the output of individual firms so if there's increase in the demand say from Q0 to Q1 then the number of firm will be equal to Q1 derived by Q star so if it is constant cost case Q star is unchanging Okay, so the increase in the number of firm is equal to Q1 minus Q0 over Q star. So this case is very simple in the constant cost. So next is the change in the input price. Okay. So first, let's use the diagram that shows that what will happen. So will the increase in input cost increase or decrease the output of individual firms? okay so the firms will produce at the minimum of average cost here so now if V increase the average cost will be high and marginal cost will also be high so okay as soon as it's minimal so you can see the output may increase or decrease it depends on the relative shift of the MC and AC. If the increase in AC is higher than increase that of MC, then the optimal Q star will be higher. Okay. So apart from the diagrammatically proof, you can prove mathematically. Okay. So in the long run, the firm will produce at AC equal to MC. So this is the optimal level okay if there changes change in V so let's do this partial AC partial V plus partial AC partial Q star partial Q star partial V equal to partial MC partial V plus partial MC partial Q star partial Q star partial V okay so this term is zero because average cost is at the minimum okay so the change in AC will be zero <coughs> so next it what is remaining is partial AC partial V equal to partial MC partial V plus partial MC partial Q star partial Q star partial V and by rearranging partial Q over partial V is equal to partial MC partial V inverse of this times partial AC partial V minus partial MC partial V okay we know this is positive <coughs> so the sign depends on the which is bigger so if the ch increase in MC is bigger then output will increase and if the increase in MC is bigger output will decrease so this is how we use mathematics to prove that. Okay. So finally we have our potential forecast. After that we have our So producer surplus is defined as the extra return that the producer made by making a transaction at the market price over and above what they would earn if nothing were produced.
so this is the area above the supply curve and below the price in the short run and we have also proved that the producer surplus is equal to the profit plus the fixed cost but in the long run profit is zero and there are no fixed costs because all variable all are variables factors so what is the concept of producer surplus in the long run well luckily profit is actually appear so there are different firms okay so some firms are more efficient while some firms are less efficient so we can still derive the producer surplus concept here so we can have three firms okay the first one is the low cost firm low cost firm means that the cost is can be kept at a very low level okay so maybe they are the pioneer of the industry so as a result given the market price they can earn a profit of this area and there are also some medium cost firm which means that the cost is a little bit higher than the low cost firm and they can still earn some profit finally there are some marginal firms okay marginal firm means that they are earning zero profit in this sense okay so the producer surplus can be a so this is a long run supply curve this is the price here so you add up all this profit you will generate this area okay for this type of profit we call this uh, Ricardian rent okay so the producer surplus in the long run supply curve is the Ricardian rent okay well mathematically so you can set the firm indexed by I okay whereas I is from 1 to N from the low cost to high cost okay and you know it so this is optimal Q optimal Q in the industry is equal to n times individual output and the price is equal to AC of the highest cost firm okay so assume this is I so highest cost average cost will be the price because lower cost will be at the beginning until the highest cost so as a result, price is equal to P Q star equal to P times P as a function of N star Q star. Okay. Then the profit of firm I is equal to P star minus A C I times Q star. Okay. So each firm is producing Q star level, Q star level, Q star level and the whole, whole profit is equal to sum of n from from n to n star the pi i di okay this is equal to integral from 0 to n star p star minus a c i times q star di okay so by solving it this is equal to integral from n to n star p star times q star di minus integral from n to n c to n star a c i q star di so this is equal to p star n star q star minus So AC is the P as a function of I Q times Q star DI. So this is P star Q star minus integral from zero to Q star. And as a function of P Q DQ. Okay. So this expression is exactly the area of this. This is P star times Q star minus this area okay so this is how we derive the long-run producer surface concept